ู้อ่ะอืมโอเค guys oh god I love the color of this drink อืมอืมอืมอืมอืม Okay so I have been drinking this pretty much nonstop it's my go to because not only is it an alcoholic beverage It's healthy for you. It's a hard kombucha, right? Right? It's healthy, right? It is. Tell me it's healthy. All I can say is when I drink this over other things, I feel better. Like I don't feel like trash. So this is called Boochcraft. It is an organic hard kombucha, and this flavor in particular is my favorite. It is grapefruit hibiscus. Seven percent ABV. That's pretty high for any type of like a you know like a hard cider hard kombucha whatever an effervescent citrus and floral riot that's loud vibrant and oh so sensational i love this so much sometimes i'll go to whole foods just for this i'm sure you're noticing i decided to wear literally every accessory i own today beauty youtuber suffocated under the weight of her own accessories i swear i did not mean for this to match what i'm wearing but i mean We're not mad about it, are we? Okay, so today's video is all about luxury makeup. This is my 10 go-to luxury makeup products. I did a top 10 luxury makeup products worth your money several months ago. You could call this that, you could. This is like, you know, what I'm reaching for right now in terms of luxury beauty. Got some new stuff in here, got some things that I just, you know, can't break away from because I love them so much. But before I get into the makeup, I do wanna let you guys know that today's video is in partnership with Ana Luisa Jewelry. If you do not know about Ana Luisa Jewelry, you must be living under a rock because it is truly fabulous and all of their jewelry starts at $39. So it is really affordable and it's really high quality jewelry. They allow me to choose three pieces from their collection. So I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. The other thing about Ana Luisa that is awesome is that they are a totally sustainable jewelry company. Other great thing to note is that they are currently having a summer sale and everything is 20% off. What? What? These two necklaces I am wearing right now are not connected. I just layered them. I'm in love with them both. The first of which is one that I have been wanting for quite some time. I've wanted a chain necklace with these large links. So this is the Blake necklace and it's normally $85, but with the 20% off, it is $68. And this one that's layered underneath it is called the Esme Slim. It is normally $115, but with the sale is $92. And I love the way this lays. It is a flat chain, so it just lays perfectly on the décolleté. I love Ana Luisa's chains, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I have some beautiful chains from other stores. They were much more expensive, and honestly, you can't tell the difference. And then I'm giving you a very, very colorful situation today with my head wrap and these earrings, but these are the Hannah Sunset earrings. I also just love the size of these. They are a statement, they're a pop of color, but they're also just like a really dainty size. These are hand-painted enamel discs and they've got kind of like a really beautiful watercolor vibe happening. Another great thing about Ana Luisa is that they do in-house plating. They don't outsource that so you can be sure that there aren't any horrible working conditions or anything like that with the jewelry that you purchase. So their sale doesn't require a code. You can just go in through my link in my description box and like I said everything is 20% off site wide. All right, so getting into my top 10 go-to luxury makeup products. This bitch, this Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glow. I've talked about it many times. I took this with me on my trip to Atlanta that I went on recently and I wore it every single day. It is just the most gorgeous highlight. It is so natural. I have it on right now. My favorite way to use it is to just put it on before you put any of your makeup on. So just over your skincare and it just gives you the most beautiful natural highlight. Of course, you can also build it up. You can put it on over your makeup as well. This really is just a next level liquid highlighter. Oh, I forgot. I also mixed a little bit of this in with my makeup today and I mean, gorgeous, dewy gloriousness. I really, really love just like the runniness and the thinness of this formula. Oh God, it looks so good. It allows for it to blend out that much easier. There is also a very scientific element to this. It has biopolymers in it. So basically it really does give your skin like a lifted look. It's just flawless. I don't know what else to say. Okay, moving on to a new foundation love of mine. 
This is the La Mer Radiant Skin Tint. It is a broad spectrum 30. I have it on my face today. I tried to wear a lot of these products on my face today so you could see them in action. I think this is the most expensive thing I'm gonna talk about here today. You did click on a video called uh, my go-to luxury makeup products. So if you're horrified by the price, you've come to the wrong place. This is spancy as hell, but it is a gorgeous finish. I actually was just watching Lisa J Makeup's video, um, her favorites video, and she she was talking about how this is like her new favorite tinted moisturizer. So this does have that famous miracle broth that La Mer is known for in the foundation formula. My favorite way to apply this is with a damp beauty blender. I usually have to put the sauce, the body sauce into my foundation because you know I'm a little bit tan this summer. But actually this color really did it for me. I didn't have to do that. This is light 22. I have another La Mer foundation. I have to say both of them equally impressed. If you got the cash to flash and you're looking for a really beautiful dewy skin tint this is it. Okay, so I went back and forth. I couldn't decide between the Chantecaille Perfect Blur Powder and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, but this one out because it is just my most repurchased. Look at her. I think this is my third or fourth one, obviously moving on to another one pretty soon. I love the Perfect Blur, but I, for me, I feel like this just brightens a little bit more. I just never have gone wrong with this. I've never had to like redo my makeup or been disappointed about how something turned Turned out. I think I could use a little bit more right now because even though this place was a literal icebox before I filmed, that sun is sneaking on in and making me sweat. I mean, I'm certainly not saying anything anyone else hasn't said. Like, this is such a beloved powder, but for good reason. Like I really can't find anything else that tops it. Okay, so moving on to a bronzer. This is the Westman Atelier Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. I have the shade Coupe de Soleil. Everything I've tried from Westman Atelier is chef's kiss perfection. Like across the board, their lit up sticks, their lip glosses, this isn't any different. This applies just beautifully and it literally feels, well, it's so satisfying. It feels like a bar of gold in your hand. And you can see the little heart imprints on the actual powder itself. That is super cute. The formula blends like a dream. I mean, I have it on my face today. I put it on the high points of my forehead, my cheekbones, on my jawbone, and it's, it's just stunning. Okay, so this is the only eyeshadow I'm gonna bring up, okay? Big damn surprise, it's a one and done eyeshadow. It is the Armani Eye Tint Liquid Eyeshadow. This is the only eyeshadow I brought with me on my trip to Atlanta. I wore it every single day. I do have it on my eyes today. And you see, again, it is very similar to the Elevated Glow in the sense that it just goes on like butter. It is a very thin formula. It blends out instantly. And look at that shine. That's insane. So I have this in the shade Rose Gold, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I need more shades of this. Listen up and listen up good. This is the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Eyeliner. I know it sounds boring that the star of the show is an eyeliner, but sorry, not sorry, because this takes the cake. This is the most buttery eyeliner I have ever worn. I have it all over my eyes today. I have it on my top lid and in my waterline. Like I barely have to touch my skin for this pigment to transfer and you have to sharpen it, which I love because I've said it before and I'll say it again, self-sharpening eyeliners are a sham. They don't self-sharpen. The only truly sharp eyeliner you are going to get is if you sharpen it yourself. This is in the shade Coco and this is another product like the Giorgio Armani lid tint. I'm gonna get more shades. When you find something this quality, this good, it's like you get it in every color. I also wanted to mention it is double-ended so the other end is a smudger and you can imagine this smudges out beautifully because it's so buttery. I really, really, really did try to go with another blush besides these damn Pat McGrath blushes, but I couldn't. I just couldn't because they're that good. Not only are they a powder blush, I feel like they apply like a cream blush. What I mean by that is my favorite way to apply them, as you can see by this sponge that looks like a murder sponge is with a beauty blender. So I just literally take a damp beauty blender and I just pat it into my skin. It's just perfection. I mean, you can also obviously use a brush. You can apply it any way you want, but this is my favorite way. 
and it's weightless. I narrowed it down to two shades, but you know what? I'm gonna be bold and just tell you to get one. If you're going to get one of these blushes, just do yourself a favor and get Electric Bloom. Uh, like, need I say more? My eyes are popping out on my head even looking at this on my screen right now. I've used these as eyeshadows. They are just so, so stunning. Also, like, I have used these quite a few times and the imprint is still on the blush. Next product is like, I don't know, a little bit of a cheap product. Is it? It's from Beauty Pie. That's, that's why I'm saying this because Beauty Pie is basically luxury beauty, but you're not paying luxury prices if you're a member, but it's still luxury quality. Okay, so this is their Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara. Wearing this on my top and bottom lashes today, this is my current favorite mascara. This is a one and done mascara. It gives me volume and it also gives me length and I just can keep on going in, building and building. I don't like have any, you know, smudging or like wearing it throughout the day. I don't feel like it gives me raccoon eyes and it goes on well like velvet. Like it really does just glide onto my lashes. I do have a one month free code for you guys. If you ever want to try Beauty Pie, it is Kate sent me. So I have both of these shades of lip gloss on. I've kind of just been mixing them. These are the Clay de Peau Radiant Lip Glosses. This lip gloss is, well, for one, it's plushes. Two, I don't know if you can see this wand, but it's a twisted wand. And you're like, what's that about? When you put it to your lips, it literally hugs your lips. I have so many fantastic lip glosses. You guys know I'm a lip gloss fanatic. This formula is so comfortable, but really what takes it to the next level for me is the applicator. I've just never seen anything like it, and it really does just satisfyingly hug your lips. I mean, honestly, I feel like I need lip gloss like I need a hole in the head, but bring on more lip gloss. Last thing I want to mention is a powder highlighter. This is limited edition. It is the Laura Mercier highlighting powder in the shade Rose Glow. This is stunning. Okay, this is like night out on the town gleaming for the gods stunning. I do have that Lisa Eldridge on like I said and then once I finished my makeup look I went over that with this powder. Favorite thing to do is also to use this over that Giorgio Armani lid tint and it just oh it makes it so so shiny. This is also self-adjusting. This is what the website is telling me. So apparently it's supposed to self-adjust to all skin tones. I thought this might be like a little bit light for my skin right now, just cause I have like a lot of bronziness going on, but you know what? Nope. Nope, not so much. Mm, angry. Okay, so those are my go-to luxury makeup products that I'm loving right now. Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Eyeliner Pencil. Good job. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. Please do go and check out that sale at Ana Luisa. Again, that link is gonna be down below in my description box along with everything else that I spoke about today. You guys stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye. Mm, the booch.